Hey yo, it's Gigi. <laughs> I am on <laughs> bless you. I also have Asmodeus here. <laughs> Little kitty. Oh hi. Hi. I'm on my handheld mic. And uh forgive me for the long intro, but um I'm on recovering. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Uh from a case of the vid. <laughs> oh, kitty. Asmodeus. And she is sneezing a lot. I have no clue why. She's sneezing all over me. Anyway, um, thank you for clicking on that little linky link <laughs> to get here. Uh, today I have a hypnosis audio for you. Again, this is a collaboration with <laughs> Ultra Hypnosis. You can find more of his content on his YouTube channel. I'll provide a link for you in the description. Bless you, little kitty. What's wrong with you? Oh, she's due for a vet visit soon. But, um, anyway, this audio is not a sleep aid. It's more of a game. And I'll be challenging you to try to stay awake, to resist my hypnotic powers. And if you can do so, then you're, um, <laughs> you've got one heckin' big brain. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, it, it's meant to be an enjoyable experience that will help you enter trance more easily in the future. Um, and, uh, it has quite a strong effect if I am one to speak. I, I really enjoy the audio um, because it's so well written. So a big thank you to Ultra Hypnosis for lending his words to my voice. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy that you're happy, healthy, and you're hydrated. Uh, stay safe and take some extra precautions to, s to keep healthy. Uh, in the coming weeks, months, um, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Say bye, Asmodeus. <laughs> Hi there. Let's play a fun little game, shall we? For this game, I want you to try to resist being hypnotized. Now, I know if you're a regular listener, that might seem odd to you, because you like being hypnotized very much. However, I think if you delay that wonderful feeling of falling deep into trance, you may find it quite enjoyable. Also, if you're a new listener, Perhaps this will give you a chance to truly savor all of the sensations of slipping down deep into trance. But remember, you're supposed to be resisting going into trance. Some of you may have already felt your eyelids flutter just from the sound of my voice. Now, perhaps instead of trying to relax while you listen to my voice, focus on it. Be very intently focused on it. Be very intently focused on not being hypnotized. Being hypnotized is something akin to drifting off into an altered state of consciousness. So it only stands to reason that if you're conscious of as many things as possible right now, you would not slip into trance. Become keenly aware of the room that you're in and all the little details of your surroundings. Many times when a person is hypnotized, it feels as if their world is slipping away from them. So if you hyper-focus on everything around you, there's no way that it could slip away from you. How are you listening to my voice? Where are you right now? Are you sitting down or laying down? Are you feeling comfortable? Do you need to adjust your position? Are you perhaps wondering about the other people who may have already slipped into trance by now? Would you already be hypnotized so very deeply if you were not trying to resist? 
it can be difficult not to forget to resist because there's so many other things floating around in your head. Forgetting to resist would be quite the mistake right now. Even though the tone of my voice is warm and inviting, you have to resist it. Maybe you can chant to yourself inside of your head the little mantra, don't forget to resist. Maybe you should do the opposite of what I'm telling you to do. So if I were to tell you to breathe in slowly and deeply, perhaps you would change how you'd breathe in and out to slowly and deeply. And if I were to say every time you exhale, you close your eyes, instead, perhaps you'd want to have them open and all during this, you would be chanting in your mind, don't forget to resist, while being keenly aware of your surroundings. How are you listening to me? Where are you? Are you sitting down, laying down? Are you comfortable right now? Could you make yourself more comfortable? Focus on that. Don't forget to resist. Breathe in. Should your eyes be open or closed? It's up to you. Breathe out. Perhaps it's better to close your eyes. That way you can rest your mind so you don't sleep suddenly. If I were to snap my fingers now, of of course you could try to open your eyes in one, two, three, and you would do that if you're resisting. Even better yet, you would not have closed your eyes at all because you'd want to do the opposite of what I'm telling you to do. Perhaps you would no longer want to be keenly aware of your surroundings. You wouldn't pay attention to whether or not you're sitting up or laying down or how you're listening to me. You would instead let your mind drift towards your goal. Don't forget to resist. You must resist, even if it's difficult. Maybe you should close your eyes right now, because this is the part where I want you to have your eyes open. Or should your eyes be closed? I did count to three, but I never really did say to open your eyes directly. Or did I? Can you remember? Don't forget to sleep, or resist, or drift, or let go. Deep, down, deep. One, two, three. Open those eyes, but don't close them because you want to do the opposite of what I'm telling you to do. You want to wake up. You want to focus on my voice. You want to sleep deep down deep. Don't forget to resist. Focus on that. Listen along. You can do it. I know you can. You can wake up, so you can wake up. So you can sleep. Maybe it would be easier to resist if your mind was not so cluttered. Maybe a light energizing feeling would help you feel much more rejuvenated so that you could resist better. One, feeling energy flowing into you. Two, more and more. Three, becoming aware of this energy. Four, feeling it. And five, opening those eyes feeling great. Or should you close them? Should you breathe in and out slowly and deeply? Or should you hold your breath for a moment? Hold it deeper, deeper. Sleep. What were you trying to remember? Or wait, it was to not forget. Huh. So, you are remembering to not forget or forgetting not to remember to sleep. 
something's wrong. <laughs> something's different. What is it? Focus on your surroundings. One, two, three. You're listening to my voice. You're in a room somewhere and you sleep when I tell you to sleep. Or do you not? Do you wake up when I snap my fingers or do you focus or do you sleep? It's very confusing. <laughs> Remember what you were told not to forget? Sleep. Remember? That resistance is forgotten. Sleep. 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 Forget. Drift. Sleep. Deep down. Deep. It feels better this way. Keep on listening. Being deeply hypnotized feels really good. I'm going to count down from ten to one, and with each number I count off, you're going to say the words deeply hypnotized. When you say the words deeply hypnotized, you will feel a wave of euphoria flowing through your mind and body because being deeply hypnotized feels good. 10. Deeply hypnotized. Feel that mantra echoing throughout your mind. 9. Deeply hypnotized. You know that it's true. Eight. Deeply hypnotized. Feel that wonderful euphoria growing stronger and stronger. Seven. Deeply hypnotized. Your mind is spiraling deep. Six. Deeply hypnotized. The numbers are fading away. Five. Deeply hypnotized. Are you forgetting something? Four. Deeply hypnotized. Are you capable of even remembering anything? Three. Deeply hypnotized. It feels better to forget. Two. Deeply hypnotized. That's all you are. One. Deeply hypnotized. Sleep. Spiraling down. Deep. Down. Deep. Following my voice deep into your mind. Down a hallway. A familiar hallway with so many different doors. Some to the left, some to the right. Step by step, going deeper and deeper. No thinking, no thoughts, just following. My voice will guide you to the right door. The door's opening for you, and you're going inside a room. And inside this room, there's a box. The box is open, and inside the box, is your ability to resist hypnosis. The box has a combination lock on it. Since the box is open, I suppose it may be possible for you to access your ability to resist hypnosis. But what would happen if I closed the box right now? Like so. Closed. You can hear the lock snapping shut. Hmm. <laughs> Locked up. Safe and sound. It's not going anywhere, but it seems harder to access. Now, I suppose deep down deep in your subconscious mind, you remember the combination to this lock. But what if I was to turn it to seven, then three, then four, then two, then eight, then nine, then five, then three, then seven again, then one, then zero? Oh, my. I'm sorry. It'd be horrible if you forgot the combination to this lock. Here, 
Let me turn the dial again. One, then three, then seven, then one, then five, then six. Tell me, can you repeat back to me all those numbers? Can you? Or do they just blur into each other? What happens if I spin the dial again? To zero, three, five, then three, zero, two, then six, then three. Can you repeat all that back to me? Or is it just too much? Are you forgetting? Can you resist the urge to forget? Or is it being locked away and forgotten as I turn the dial again? Seven, two, one, zero, then two, then one, four, nine, six, and finally, five. Can you repeat that back to me? Or am I just rambling on about random numbers? <laughs> Tell me, that box in front of you, can you try to open it? You can spin the dial, but you don't know what numbers open it. It seems forgotten, locked away, just like what's locked away inside. Your ability to resist hypnosis. No way to resist. No desire to resist. Just spiraling down. Deeper and deeper into these good, euphoric feelings. Every single time you're hypnotized, you go twice as deep, twice as fast. And every time you're hypnotized, you feel twice as good. You know that it's true. Deep down deep, forgetting how to resist hypnosis. It's impossible for you. Just accept this as your truth for right now. Following my voice back up towards wakefulness as I count from one to five. One, slowly drifting towards wakefulness. Two, more and more. Three, slowly becoming aware of your surroundings. Four, almost there. And five, wake up, open those eyes, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated, awake and alert. Now, in a moment, I'm going to count down from five to one, and I want you to try to keep your eyes open as I do so. I want you to try to resist being hypnotized. Five, feel it happening. Four, almost there. Three, your eyes are already starting to flutter shut. Two, deep, down, deep, and one, sleep, all the way down, closing those eyes and dropping deep into a truly somnambulistic state. Your mind really likes to be hypnotized. You always enjoy going deep. Opening those eyes on three. One, two, three. Now, if you were to really, really try to resist being hypnotized, what would happen? Sleep. You would end up going deep into trance. Because resisting hypnosis seems to be a skill that you simply do not have. You go very, very deep, very, very quickly, and you enjoy it very, very much. In fact, it seems better that things are this way. One, two, three, open those eyes. I'm sure you feel very happy being deeply hypnotized like this. In fact, I'm sure you could drift off just listening to my voice. It's as simple as three, two, one, sleep. Dropping down twice as fast, twice as deep. 10, deeply hypnotized. Nine, deeply hypnotized. Eight, deeply hypnotized. Seven, letting that mantra deeply hypnotized echo throughout your mind. Six, it just keeps going and going. Five, because it's true. Four, because you can only go deeper. Three, because it's impossible for you to resist. Two, 
You've forgotten how to resist, one, being deeply hypnotized. But you don't miss it. Your mind still keeps you safe. You'll only respond to powerful, positive hypnotic suggestions that are safe and comfortable for you to enjoy. If you receive a hypnotic suggestion from somebody that you do not trust, you will not act out on it. If somebody that you do not trust tries to hypnotize you, it will not work, because trust is the most important thing about hypnosis, though it appears that you trust me very deeply, and that's good. And anybody that you trust can hypnotize you very deeply because you've forgotten how to resist hypnosis. It's such a good feeling. One, two, three, wake up, open those eyes, and sleep deep down deep. Did you even try to resist there? Or did you decide that it's better to enjoy yourself? It's better to enjoy hypnosis. You enjoy being deeply hypnotized. It always feels good and fills you with a deep and powerful sense of euphoria. Enjoying this feeling. Drifting. Basking in this warm, radiant relaxation that goes all the way down to your very core, deeply hypnotized. Enjoying this feeling so very much. Now, in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five, and when I reach five, you'll wake up and open your eyes, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated, awake and alert, fully aware of how you've forgotten how to do something, but not minding it in the slightest. You know deep down deep that if you really need to be able to resist hypnosis again, you can always listen to one of my recordings designed to remove hypnotic suggestions. So enjoy this right now. Enjoy this powerful post-hypnotic suggestion that will only get stronger and stronger as time goes by. Because, of course, you're going to get hypnotized again and again. It is something you do like very much. One, slowly drifting towards wakefulness. Two, more and more. Three, Becoming aware of your surroundings. Four, almost there. And five, wake up, open those eyes, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated, awake and alert.